Hello and welcome back. Today we'll be looking at how to create corrugated roofing sheets in Revit. Let's begin. Go to level 2 on the floor plans. Click on roof. Click on roof by footprint. Um, select the method of drawing it. I'm just going to use a simple rectangle. Offset by 600. I'm just going to offset from the level also by 600. And uh, I'm going to create my simple roof. And after this I'm going to ask to attach, go to the south elevation. I've just created this roof and I want to create corrugation on top of this roof. The first thing I want to do is to duplicate this roof. So I'm just going to copy and then copy this roof upward here. And I'll change this roof into sloped glazing because that's what I'm going to use to create the corrugation. And uh, after this, I'm going to click on edit type, duplicate it. I'm going to rename this to corrugated roofing sheet. I'm just going to select a cutting panel. Uh, I'm going to use solid for now. I'm going to create grids of fixed distance of one meter. Of one meter. I just want to be sure my grids, that the grids I'm creating are the vertical ones. So this is okay. So grid, ones are the grid one is the vertical grid and uh, this is what I just need uh, to create that. If I wanted another set of grids, let's see, if to show joint I can create another one for let's say 1.5 meters which is already there and I'll click on OK so so what I'm going to do is to substitute this panel for the corrugated roofing sheets but first let's create it so we'll click on the file tab go to new click on family it's going to lead us to the family templates click on English we we'll look for the right template which is the metric cutting wall panel this is it here double click to open it so this template for creating cutting wall panels has a floor plan view and an elevation view and in the floor plan we have the exterior view and the interior view right here and then from the elevation you can see that so first of all I just want to make sure that these sizes are equal like I have it in my design so I'll turn this bring this down to 500 so that the total distance will be one meter i'll zoom in click on create click on extrusion and then i'm just going to sketch the parts here so let me begin so i got this dimension from checking out the actual dimensions of aluminium corrugation or roofing sheets and then uh, I placed it this way. Now, when I just created the center from half, so what I want to do is to ensure that from the midpoint, I have this position this way so that it's centered this way. And then I can copy this to the last point. So I'm much more concerned about making a balance from the midpoint here to this other midpoint. So. I'll offset it. Most times the roof thickness are not more than 1 mm. So let's just keep it at 1 mm. And uh, let's max 2 mm. So I'm just going to offset this. Make sure we offset it above the, the current line. And then let's mirror it. Now before we finish creating this extrusion, it's good to use the align tool. Click on the align and click on the line resting on the reference plane and make sure it is locked so uh, this is very important now this happens the continuous alignment is because my multiple alignment is on so I don't need to click the align tool every time and once you lock the lines to the reference plane to the midpoint that would do the others would follow suit then you make sure that your sketch is continuous and closed which is what I'm trying to do here. And once that is done, we'll click on finish sketch. Now it's going to, if we go to the exterior elevation, you can see the height of our corrugation. I'm just going to click this up arrow, extend it here and lock it to this one. The start and end point is four meters, so that's really high. I'm going to drag this up, bring it back down and then lock it here. So this is what we've created. We can save it as we can save it as a family so that we can always use it whenever the need arises so this is a cutting wall panel so i can go to cutting wall panel and save it as a roofing sheet 
So you just need to create this once and then you're done. After that, I'll load it into the project. So once we are done with creating our corrugated roofing panel, we use it to replace these flat cutting wall panels on the roof. So select the roofing sheet we just created. For that grid 1, I'm going to space it by 1000, and then the grid 2, that's the vertical spacing by 1.5. We can create the mullions later on, but let's just apply this for now. This is just telling us that uh, the panels won't be in any non-rectangular so that's okay that's why we can only use it in gable roofs so this is what we've created you can see the continuous uh, roofing sheet we can go to the south elevation and then copy it down to the existing roofing sheet this needs to be done carefully because the, the thickness of the roofing sheet is very light so that they don't uh, merge into each other so this is what we've created uh, we can actually offset, we can also offset this roof a little bit, but this is basically it. To create the edges, you can use mullions to do that. So, either manually or automatically. So, on the architecture, I can click on mullions, select, let's say, for the corner mullions for the ridge, and place a ridge this way. If I want to place uh, mullions at the edge also, I can choose. Uh, whichever million I want to create uh, an edge but though I, I, I really don't want that so I'm just going to uncheck it but this corner millions for the reach can just do the job so this is how to quickly make a corrugated roofing sheet for a gable roof uh, in Revit so this is how we can quickly make a corrugated roofing sheet in Revit for only gable roofs for hip proof, we are going to explore that later. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.